Lori Horton is here in studio with us today to good teach morning. us how to make her good old fashioned monster cookies. Good yeah, morning, Lori. Good morning. What is a monster cookie? Well, these are one that I think everybody has in the recipe box okay. for those bake sales and school auctions. It's just kind of a, a good classic recipe and it makes a lot. Okay, um, you so. can make them monstrously big or you can make a monstrously big amount. All Whatever right. makes you happy. So, All right, how do um, we start? We start with pretty much the basics of any of our great cookies. We've got a couple of ingredients in here that are a little out of the ordinary, but we're going to go with a full cup of softened butter. And you can see it's not obviously not melted, just nice and room temperature soft. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add to that some white sugar and some brown sugar. Classic. So, classic. It's going to mm -hmm. make these nice and soft and chewy. And we're going to cream that together. I'm not going to make a lot of noise with my mixer right now, but we're going to work on creaming that together and make it really nice and fluffy. So we want to get those sugars and that butter really incorporated. My butter could be a little bit softer this morning. It's not yeah. so... You it's know, cold it's in the It's a little cold here. in here. It's a little hard to work that back and forth. But you're going to leave that out at room temperature for a little bit. Just be careful if you microwave it to soften it, don't melt it. We That's right. Use that uh, defrost cycle on your microwave. So after we get this really nicely incorporated, we get both of those sugars really creamed in there and get this a really fluffy texture. We're going to add to that a full cup of vegetable oil. And All this right. is something that we really don't have in a lot of cookie recipes. Yes. But again, this is going to keep it really soft and fluffy. And it's just that additional fat. Instead of two whole cups of butter, Got right, it. a cup of butter and a cup of oil. Okay. So we're going to incorporate that in with that. And then we're also going to add a couple of eggs after we get that mixed in. So just kind of do it one step at a time. Okay. Add that one ingredient, make sure it's really well incorporated before you go on to the next one, and just a little bit at a time. So we are going to slowly mix those in. You can add your eggs both at one time. You don't have to step those in like some recipes, but again, always with the large eggs. We want to have our good full large eggs with any recipe when we bake. All right. Right? This and then, seems like a pretty wet. It is. I mean, I know we haven't added the, we the dry haven't. stuff, but compared to what we usually do, yeah, it's, it's pretty a very, wet. It's a very soft, a very creamy start to our cookie dough. So mm -hmm. a little out of the ordinary, but we want to keep in mind, and this is why I have the really big bowl this morning, we're going to make a lot. So when we get to those dry ingredients, you'll be surprised at how much is in there because we'll set this aside for just a minute. We're going to start with three and a half cups of flour, which oh, is, wow, that is a lot. quite a bit. And That's we're adding to that monster. monster size. We're going to add to that our little bit of baking soda, cream of tartar, and salt. And we'll whisk that in. And then when we come back, we're going to incorporate all these ingredients together. And then we're going to add all the extra goodies that really make the monster cookies Love a it. monster. All right. Thank you so much. We'll stick around. we got more news coming up right after this. The Ozarks. It's more than a place. Compassionate. Quality, compassionate, affordable care. Welcome back. Now Lori has been showing us her recipe for good old fashioned monster yes. cookies. Last segment, we had the butter, the sugar, and the eggs all mixed in. Yes. Now what's next, Lori? All right, so we've creamed together all of our wet ingredients with those sugars. And remember we used the white and the brown sugar. So this is gonna be a really nice chewy cookie. We've also whisked together in our other bowl, flour, cream of tartar baking soda and a little bit of salt and the cream of tartar yeah. is the one ingredient that's a little bit unusual but you'll find it anytime you want a really soft cookie and what that does is it keeps that sugar from crystallizing so that's when you get a crunchy cookie you add that cream of tartar doesn't happen Science. you get I, it's crazy you know Who thought? so we're going to just finish whipping together our wet ingredients here make sure they're really good and creamy and again, this is kind of almost looks like cake batter at this yeah, point. It's yeah, really it's soft. Typical. It's very, very thin. So that's why at this point we are going to start adding to it those wet ingredients or those dry ingredients a right. little bit at a time. Because we did also add the oil too. I forgot to do We that. did. We added oil an entire butter. cup of oil, a couple eggs. And again, that whole recipe is going to be on our KOAM News Now app. So you don't have to worry about getting that written down. 
but we're going to add this a little bit at a time and just slowly incorporate all of that dry ingredients together right. and it's still not going to be a really dense batter so yeah. it's nice it's easy to work with you don't have to get out the big mixer or anything like that you can do this part by hand it's so a good amount of flour too. it's a lot of flours three and a half cups of flour that so way more than it's two. way more but this is a big recipe so it's going to make a lot and that's why i think this has become such a popular recipe because this is that time of year when all of the school carnivals are starting to come about right. those bake sales yes. all the spring fundraisers for the kids stuff and this is a great recipe you can make up a bunch they freeze really well so you can do these up ahead of time when you have a minute on the weekend but also not a lot of out of the ordinary ingredients so when the kids hit you with that sunday night oh my gosh i've got to have something at school tomorrow you've probably got pretty much everything you need in the cabinets to you know round these up and get them going and have them ready to go for the next day Absolutely. so once we've done about three rounds of those dry ingredients and getting them fully incorporated the last step that we're going to have is to add all of our good stuff to it so this is a pretty plain old boring bit of dough right here at uh -huh. this point and what we're going to add to it will be all of our fun stuff and so what i've got here is a mixture of rice krispies coconut chocolate chips and oats just plain old oatmeal so all kinds of good stuff and you can really customize that a lot of people like to add mini m m's you can add different flavors of chocolate Anything chips you have in your cupboard, whatever you got it. throw it in there we'll do that when we come back all right stay tuned we'll be right back with the final Final episode of this. <laughs> this is your free at home estimate. If you want the best for less, call Windows for less. All right, we're just about done with these good old fashioned monster cookies. Now, yes. Lori, what do we have left to do? Okay, so all we've got to do really at this point is mix in the last of our good stuff and then bake these off. So I've got all of those drying wet ingredients mixed together. So I just want to mm -hmm. show you guys, it's still like a nice soft dough. It's not difficult for me to mix that last of that in by hand. So all of my other goodies, I'm just going to dump in here. You got coconut, chocolate chips, oatmeal, oatmeal, and Rice Krispies. And Rice Krispies. So it's going to give you a nice little flavor crunch in there. The chocolate chips are good. Peanut butter chips are awesome in Love this. that. Also mini M&Ms. You can really just kind of throw in there the kitchen sink, whatever you've got on hand, whatever you guys like. So you right. want to get that folded in really well. Make sure you don't have any big clumps of that stuff left over in any pockets. And then what I want to show you is we've got a couple different sizes of our cookies here. So if you're yes. doing for more little kids, I used my smaller cookie scoop. Mm -hmm. And if you do those, they're only going to bake about eight or nine minutes in that 350 degree oven. But if you really want to make these a monster, the monster. you want to go with the big scoop. All right. And that guy is going to go on here. And you want to make sure you still leave a little bit of space between it, but also kind of give it just a little tap and tuck all those little extra edges in when you go to pop mm -hmm. that in the oven. So if we throw these about six to eight on a cookie sheet, depending on how big your sheet is, pardon my reach. You're doing great, Lori. I'm telling you what, I am Because they do, they, look at, they're, they're huge. They do, they spread just a little bit, but not a lot. So you can kind of pop those on there, but get them aligned and then, like I say, kind of little. tuck those little edges in if Clean you have any loose pieces. And that way, when they come out, they'll still be nice and round and nice and even in the oven. And then, through the magic of television, we will swap. And we bake them for how long at we what bake temperature? The big ones for about 10 to 11 minutes at 350. Okay. The small ones about eight to nine. So right. when you bring these out, they're gonna have a nice, lightly oh, golden bottom. Lovely. And you'll see the edges are just a little bit brown. So you can see that when you go to check them in the oven. Don't leave them too long because they'll keep baking for just a little while on the cookie sheet. Yes. You want to remember when you pull that cookie sheet out, it's 350 degrees. You let it set, they're going to continue to bake for a little bit. Again, I always like to use those parchment liners, keep your cookie sheets a little bit neater, but it also helps distribute that heat a little bit as well. So Absolutely. I mean, once, just, you, once you bring them out, let them set for a few minutes, transfer them oh, over to a grate or any kind of a, a cooling rack that you might have. 
Yeah, they're just a nice, they're thick. very moist, very moist, perfect, nice and thick, perfect with a cup of coffee or a glass of milk after school. Right? But they go really well at the bake sale. So this is always a good one to tuck in your back pocket for that. All right. Thank you, Lori. To find the good old fashioned monster cookies, just head on over to our website at koamnewsnow.com. Lori, as always, thank you so much. Thank You're the you. best. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be right back with more news right after this.